Okay, in this video I'm going to do the BC Calculus sample questions 7 and 8. Um, and I think these ones looked relatively not too bad. Um, so number question number 7 here says the line normal to this curve y equals x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 1 at x equals 2 has um, a slope of what? So has slope of what? Um, remember that normal is again just a fancy word for perpendicular. <clears throat> and we know how to find perpendicular slopes. You just change the sign and flip the fraction um, on the slope of the tangent line. So the first thing we'll have to do is find the slope of the tangent line and to do that we'll just take the derivative. So the derivative says we get the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom which will be 2x as well all over the bottom part all squared um, and they want us to evaluate this at um, x equals 2 so again the first thing we're going to do is find the tangent line and once we have the slope, or excuse me, we'll find the slope of the tangent line and once we have that um, it's easy to get the slope of the normal line. So you could simplify all of this down. Um, I mean to me there's really no point in doing that. I'm just going to plug in x equals 2. So 2 squared will be, um, so again I'm just plugging in 2 everywhere. 2 squared plus 1, 2 times 2, uh, 2 squared minus 1, 2 times 2, then in the bottom, uh, 2 squared plus 1, all squared. So let's see, what does this give you? Hopefully my arithmetic will be okay. So it looks like in the denominator, 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5 squared is 25. In the numerator, that's 4, uh, 2 squared is 4 plus 1, so it looks like we get 5 times 4, which is 20. We get 4 over here, 2 squared minus 1 is 3, 3 and 4 is 12, so to me it looks like we're subtracting off 12. So I'm getting 8 over 25. And again, this is the slope of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line. So the slope of the, the uh, normal line is perpendicular to the slope of the tangent line. So that means that the slope of the normal line would simply be, we have to flip the fraction, change the sign. Okay, so that'll be our answer to this question here. Negative 25 over 8 would be the slope of the normal line. All right, one more question here. I think uh, this one is just kind of one of these generic notation questions. It's, are you going to freak out if you see, um, you know, just a lot of, uh, of, of notation? So it says, if f and g are differentiable functions, So that means, hey, we can take derivatives and talk about derivatives of them. And we're going to define h of x to be um, f of x times e raised to the g of x. They say then h prime of x equals what? Okay, so we're trying to find the derivative. So the only thing you have to remember in this case is um, you have to remember the derivative simply that the derivative of e to some function we get well e to the function and then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the function so that's just the derivative of um, of the formula involving e so we'll make use of that and then the other thing we have to remember simply is that we have a product of two functions we have f of x times this e to the g of x so we'll also have to use the product rule in this case. Okay, so really it's just using the product rule and remembering the derivative of e to the gx, g of x. So the product rule, when we take the derivative, it says we take the derivative of, or I'm going to take the derivative of the first piece. We'll leave the second function alone. Plus, now we leave the first function alone. And now I'm just going to use my derivative formula on e to the g of x. And it says, again, we get e to the g of x. We have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which generically would just be g prime x. And now all we want to do is just clean this up a little bit. Um, notice there, 
is an e to the g of x in the first part, and also in the second, uh, the second part, the first term and the second term. I don't see anything else that is in common. I'm going to factor that out. e to the g of x. Um, so you don't have them in front of you. Obviously, in the test, I would do what I'm doing at home, which is eyeballing their answer solutions, um, just trying to make it look like one of them. So it looks like they keep everything in order. So there's our f prime, and then we would. Uh, if we factor the e of g of x out, we would just have f of x times g of x left over. And that is one of their answers. So, <clears throat> again, it's just knowing formulas and not being thrown off here by all the generic notation. So, all right, feel free to post comments and questions. Um, and hopefully, either me or somebody can help you. Um, there's definitely more of the BC calculus questions, so feel free to dig around. And otherwise, good luck.